that was an incredibly satisfying two minutes. <gasps> that was awesome! I was gonna go for a coffee run. Do you wanna come with me? Oh, I can't. I promised my great Aunt Mary that I'd help her bake cookies for tonight. Okay, that is a crazy coincidence. My grandma is named Mary and she makes the best cookies ever. Yeah, we're making like three dozen for the family barbecue. <laughs> That's so weird. I'm also going to a family reunion tonight. <laughs> Where? Oh, it's just this house right up the road. Red brick, white door. What type of cookies does your grandma make? Peanut, Peanut butter? butter? Fuck! Oh my god! Well, looks like we have our own little family barbecue. Yeah, well, there was definitely not enough meat for a barbecue. <laughs> Can you pass the salt? Can I what? Uh, I, I said can you pass the salt? I'm sorry, are you serious right now? It's a simple request. You're eating cereal and you don't put salt in cereal. I'm a grown ass man, let me live my life. Yeah, and you're under my roof. And I'm over your crap. Why do you need salt on your cereal? Why was Miss Blake's car in our driveway when mom was on vacation? Here you go, son. Hi, honey, I'm home. Oh, hey, honey. How was work? Oh, you know, the usual. Dr. Doolittle, is my cat a feminist? Dr. Doolittle, what does my goldfish think about the socioeconomic influences that affect our current political climate? That sounds great, honey. Oh, uh, yeah. So... What did you do today? Oh, I just got us some groceries. Oh, really? We'll see about that. <laughs> Honey, what, what are you doing? All right, buddy, what was she actually up to today? I already told you I went grocery shopping. Well, according to Mr. Whiskers, the only thing you were stuffing in your car was saucy. What, what are you talking about? He says you were playing Dirty Mattress Twister. Hold it. No, he's lying. He said that the scumbag that was winning Cornhole at your Arby's is right in here. All right, guys, who wants me to read their fortune? Those things don't actually work. Shut up, Shelby! We're in middle school, Shelby, okay? This is the only semblance of control that I have over my life. It's the tiny thread holding my sanity together. So... Let me read your fortune! Yellow? Y-E-L-L-O-W. Number? Uh, three? You're gonna marry a famous actor and have six kids. I love half of that. Uh, my turn. Uh, red. R-E-Z. And, uh, five. <laughs> You're gonna be a famous scientist and have six cats. Yes! Uh, okay, do me. Green. G-R-E-E-N. What's the number? Two. <laughs> you will amble aimlessly through life, never making any meaningful relationships. You will ultimately turn to drinking and drugs to fill the empty void in your soul. You will die unfulfilled and alone. <laughs> I didn't even... I didn't even write that one. So, uh, do you have any pets? Oh yeah, I do. I have a cat. What type of cat is it? Oh, he's just a black and white cat. Oh yeah? What's his name? His, his, his what? What is your black and white cat's name? Uh, that's, that's not important. Um, how, how's your sister doing? No, 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 no. I want to hear the super creative and totally unique name that you came up with for your black and white cat. I don't have to answer that. Tell me. I want a lawyer. Tell me, you coward. His name's Wario. What, what, what is that? His name's Wario. I'm not ashamed. Wow. Wow. Everyone, give a round of applause for the most overused pet name of all time. <laughs> How long did it take you to come up with that one? Uh, I point at him. Point at him and laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Welcome to our little home. We got a uh, Diet Coke in the fridge if you're thirsty. Uh, okay, thanks. Uh, I think I'll just have water. Uh, we also got Diet Dr. Pepper. Oh, okay. Now don't mind Precious. She's getting old and, and blind, so uh, don't sneak up on her. She might get at you. Aw, uh, how old is Precious? Oh, she's gonna turn 37 in August. I'm sorry, what atrocities did Precious commit in a past life to deserve this fate? <laughs> Oh, she took her first breath of the day. Ain't that cute? Oh my 
God. Hello, my man. Whoa, 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 put that stinger away. I, 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 I don't trust like that. Ooh, worry not, my brother. I am simply vibing with these flowers. Oh, okay. As long as you are chill with us, we are chill with you, my man. Would you like any of this dope-ass honey I just made? Dude, that is awesome. Oh, wait, who's that? Oh, that is my cousin Wasp. You need to be very careful. Oh, hi, Mr. Wasp. What do you mean? I make nightmares, bitch! Oh my god, I cannot believe she's dancing like that. She's dressed like a- Shh. Kyle, my brother in Christ, why are you really upset? Who are you? My child, unburden your sorrows. <gasps> I want to shake my ass too. Dearest Kyle, you can. No one's stopping you. I can? Yes, Kyle. Shake your little frog ass. Shake what the good Lord gave you. I will. I will shake my little frog ass. Thank you. Wow, I'm so excited. She's going to wear me to so many parties. <laughs> <coughs> so you must be the other woman. Oh. Oh my God. Listen, kid. There's only one reason why she buys a bra like you. And trust me, it's not happening. <laughs> I see bras like you come and go every year. Um, I'm very expensive. Oh yeah, I'm sure she'll wear you a couple times just in case. But then she's gonna get tired of your itchy lace. And then she's gonna come crawling back to me. Oh please, you look disgusting. It's part of my charm. If a bits aren't flying in the wind, I'm holding on to them. I bet she hasn't worn you in years. Honey, I haven't been washed since 2015. <laughs> Do you even know, like, girls that have any hobbies? Like, every girl I know just likes makeup and going shopping. Like, I want a gamer girl. I want, like, a girl I can play my video games with and just, like, have a good time. Oh, hey, sorry, I couldn't help it over here, but I'm a girl and I love video games. Would, would you want to play some time with me? Fuck you. You bitch. Go make me a fucking sandwich. All right, so we're going to be casting for that teenage coming of age story, right? Yep, first we have uh, Jason's mother. Ooh, <laughs> she's way too young to have a teenage son. Yes! Yes, you got the part! She's like 22. All right, all right, all right, next we have Jason's best friend, Todd. That is a very fit 25-year-old man. Uh, wait, that he's older than the mom. Yes! Yes, you got the part! Oh, okay, we could just put fake acne on him or something. <laughs> That is a very suspicious looking 40 year old man. Suspicious looking 40 year old with abs! You got the part! Oh my god. Wait, who the hell is this? This is Jason's two year old sister. No. Yes! Yes! Say the line! Um, Goo Goo Gaga? Are uh, you? Don't do this! You got the part! I don't think enough people know that in the original Stuart Little book, Stuart Little isn't this cute little mouse that they go to the adoption center and adopt. He literally is biologically born from this is little. And uh, we never get an explanation for that. This is how I think it went down. <gasps> it's okay, honey, it's almost over. All right, Mrs. Little, one, two, three, push. <laughs> I, I don't, uh, um, uh, we'll just, uh, r run a couple tests. Honey. What the hell? He, uh, has your eyes, honey. Damn it, woman, I need answers. Mr. Little, please. All I'm asking is what were you actually doing in Vegas nine months ago? Sir. You said he was just a work friend. Sir, I'm gonna need you to stay calm. A mouse just came out of my wife's vagina. 